What's yeah. up, legends? You. We're super pumped, as you can see. You've got the SA sign behind us and the WA one, which I think it's meant to be up there, but anyway, we're here, girls, WA. Woo! It feels so surreal. We've never been so excited to cross the state border after everything that's going on in the world. And to be in WA, it's real. From here onwards, we've done to Esperance Melanie, but now we're venturing into territory that we, is truly unknown. Like we've never done anything else. Like we've done most parts of Australia besides WA yep. mainly. So Yeah, so yeah. it's um it's incredible to be here. It's like three years in the making to get to this position, I guess. And it's your first time in WA? Yeah. There we go. So um yeah, this episode as I said will take you across um from Eucala onwards. We're gonna just do little one nighters here and there, show you some really cool little towns. Uh, we've got some awesome footage just before of the Great Australian Bite. Those cliff edges, how were they? They were so cool. They were like breathtakingly beautiful. The water, the colour of the water, and it was calm today. It was a beautiful day. So looking forward to sharing that with you guys and girls. The cliff tops almost looked like it's the end of the world. So, um, but here we are, WA. We're here, we're coming for you. The Jansons have entered the state. And uh, tonight we're going to be stopping off at Eucala. Might stay there for a night or two, show you around, then on to Cockle Biddy, and then eventually as we head our way around to that leg of Esperance. So if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe, smash that bell so you get all the cool notifications of all the awesome stuff we're going to be sharing with you guys and girls on a weekly basis. And as always, young nomads, we're going to hit it hard, live free. Let's do this. Live free. WA, we're coming. Woo! All right, so behind us is where the memorial service will be held tomorrow morning. Oh, I thought I'd show you guys and girls it now because it might be dark, obviously, in the morning, a bit hard to see. But I just thought I'd show you this. This is a real cool piece. I was just reading before. So a uh, massive rock here with a plaque in it. Edward John Eyre Baxter Wiley, Joey Yarry. On the 11th of March, 1841, camped in this exact vicinity during the 1500 kilometer journey from Fowler's Bay to Albany, unveiled by the Honorable Ian Taylor. Deputy Premier of Western Australia back on the 11th of March 1991. How cool is that? They camped right here in this spot back in 1841 when they ventured all the way from Fowler's Bay, which we just came from. We just did an episode on that. They stopped here, camped here on their way over to Albany. Anyway, this is the uh, memorial service here that we'll have tomorrow morning. I'll bring the GoPro so hopefully we can show you guys and girls the service. But obviously, yeah, like I said, being dark. But how cool is this for a memorial service and a backdrop you know it's almost a bit like Gallipoli isn't it like you're perched up high here as the boats are coming in almost it's yeah beautiful spot and um you've got this beautiful memorial here lest we forget um over here's a couple of guys local fishermen from Sejuna Streaky Bay um David the skipper on Kiana 2 and Troy um, who lost his life at 42. Lost at sea, out here somewhere, never found. We are just talking to the local copper and said they caught a fish, they were out there for pinkies and fair way out. He said about 30 miles out and came back in when the conditions weren't so good. A local fisherman told him not to go back out. They went back out for a second trip. Unfortunately, never to be found and seen again. So much respect to these guys. But as he said, at least they, I guess, passed away doing what they loved. So I'll just have a look at this. Sun setting over here. Check that out. But yeah, what a great spot perched up nice high on the hill here. Looking forward to this dawn service. Something different tomorrow. I'm sure it won't be the size and the scale of the one at Semaphore. Yeah, the one that but, we're, we're used to, but it's it's good that we can attend something. Yeah. You know, and still power because, aspects. Yeah. 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 Because we, we do it every year, we just don't really want to miss it. Then you're gonna be doing it too, aren't you? Mm-hmm. Yes, I can't wait to get up at 5 a.m. I need to find my puppy. And it's 5.20 a.m. We've got to get down here WA time, which is like... 7 yeah. Adelaide time. We're right on that border where it's... Yeah. It, we've come from SA time. Right now we're no, Australian Central Western Standard Time. But then he said be here at 5.20 Perth time. Anyway, we'll Google it to get our head around that. Stay tuned tomorrow morning. Dawn service here. So hopefully we can show you a bit of it.
So we've just pulled into Cockle Biddy and uh, we're going to stay here tonight, but unfortunately, caravan park's closed at the moment. Mm. So um, yeah. we're just topping up. You can get fresh water here as well, or tank water, obviously. So we're just topping up the van a little bit. We might free camp tonight. It's $2 for 10 litres. Mm. Uh, fuel is 2 bucks 45 a litre for diesel. So um, you want to get in and out of the Nullarbor pretty quickly from a cost perspective. Mm. But anyway, these are the cool things you can look at. Uh, Mel, tell us a story about these wedge tail eagles at Cocklebitty. So this is Bruce and Samantha. Hello. This <laughs> is Bruce and Samantha. Um, both were hit by cars and trucks on the way here. Samantha had a broken wing collarbone and was blind in one eye. So then she was flown off to Karatha for 15 months for rehab and obviously they fixed her up and brought her back here. Same thing happened with Bruce, except he had a broken elbow and they couldn't repair it, so now he doesn't fly. And they brought them here because um, I, I think this is the wedge tail in, is it? Like yes. Like Cockabitty is the wedge tail in, so they wanted it to be like an iconic thing. Yeah. And um, they are licensed by a man here who is part of the wildlife department or whatever and he looks after them and makes sure that they are taken very good care of and are in good nick all the time, so yeah. So how do you tell which one's which? Uh, the bigger one is Samantha, the smaller one is Bruce. So I was gonna say, that looks like her there. Yeah. Yeah? Cause she's up higher, which flying's not a problem. Yeah. And he looks down low. But a cool enclosure, isn't it anyway? Yeah. This, this wasn't here last time we went, no. was it? No. Yeah. What's going on legends? We've arrived at Esperance. As you can see, the famous welcome to Esperance sign. Um, yeah, we didn't stop much at the Nullarbor. We went from Eucala straight through to Norseman. We we're gonna stay at Cocklebitty, but we opted not to because we we're running low on supplies and water. So we just hauled it and these was expensive and everything was expensive. We paid $7.20 for a can of V each today. Yeah, $14 so, for two cans of like those small energy drinks. And two bucks 35 a litre in diesel, it's getting up there. So it's so good to be back in somewhat sim civilization. Mm. Uh, we love Esperance, it's pretty ironic because we were here four years ago. Mm, and we parked, longer, maybe. we parked the car literally on this grass strip in front of the sign here to get a picture. Um, obviously we've got the pig rig, we're too big to come in here yeah? because that year, you can just see it, it's over there. Because that year we literally came in a car and swag. Mm, yep. Who's looking Swagged forward it. to Esperance? Yeah, we've got so much to show Demi. Yep. Oh, oh I'm so Lucky happy. Bay, um, Cape Le Grand National Park will be getting in there. There's lots of cool stuff. You're going to see some of the most pristine water, the clearest water on offer, mm. um, and just some of the most bush scenery, national parks, and lots of cool stuff to do in and around Esperance, yeah? Fingers crossed, we have some good weather. It's we looking average, we know we're timing it late this year, we really wanted to probably be here about six, eight weeks ago, but mm. that's just how it is, we're gonna make the most of it. We're here for eight nights, we're booked into which caravan park? Uh, the Rack Caravan Park. So it's right near the water, Yeah. in the Esperance, and we'll just day trip it from there, so. Mm. All right. So excited. Let's do this, Esperance, here we are. We're coming for it, let's go. So as you all know, folks, we love history and uh, therefore we're headed into the Esperance Museum to see a lot about the history of Esperance. 
Look at this cool farming equipment out in front here. Um, so yeah, we're gonna take in a tour through the uh, Esperance Museum, show you a little bit of history. Demi absolutely loves space. Check out what she's already seen, this satellite. So this is cool. This is the investigator's anchor from 1803, sailed by Matthew Flinders himself. I'm in heaven again. <laughs> Why are we in heaven? What is it, love? Oh, it's the shells. Sea shells. Shells are amazing. Hello. Cry up there. Look at this big shell up there. Wow. You have to excuse the mask legends. It's uh, WA still have mask mandatory until tomorrow, Friday. But uh, check this out, machinery and vehicles. This beautiful old Dodge here, 1927. Wow. So cool. Shearing contractor's vehicle there. I'm gonna go in. Your dad would love this. Yeah. Thinking of your boss, he'd love it here, mate. I'm smiling like a Cheshire cat under my mask. Oh, wow. The old tractor, Saunderson. Look, the old Gifkin, 1907 model. Bedford, built in Bedford, England. Look at the old petrol bowsers. Look at them, very, chink, very chink, old chink. Yeah. Do you yeah. think they were cheap back then? I mean, By the gallon. And then liters. This was used in the 1930s. That's super. Wow. What's that? So used to hand pump it. Petrol 1930 petrol bowser that one. The old 303 rifle. Should we look at it? This is a sculpture. Anzac Cove. The blue, the red. Here's the positions gained by the Anzacs on the first day. Mm -hmm. The yellow line is the Anzacs lines before evacuation. And the blue is the, the Turkish line when the campaign ended. All the way along. So that was Esperance Museum. Mm. What were your thoughts? We loved it. One of the best museums I think I've ever been to. Yep. Like how everything is still in good nick just the condition the like. condition of everything and like the history behind it and the people that used to roam esperance but it's not only about that the skylab was you know it fell here mm. yeah no it was cool i mean we we love museums but that's right up there with the best so if you're ever in esperance put this on your to-do kit list the kids love it you loved it miss it's great for the kids you know we're talking history that dates back you know, to the 1850s, Way um, when they originally started here and the farming and production yeah. and yeah, real cool place. So check it out. Definitely if you're ever in Esperance, get down to the museum. All right. Yeah, it's 20 bucks for a family of four. Yep. Um, pretty and good. They pretty much charged us um, for a family of four, but we saved 50 cents basically, which is better than nothing. Yeah. Every cent counts when you're traveling Australia. Yeah. So um, yeah. Good, cool. pro, good price and good bang for your buck too. Alrighty, uh, we're going to go over here and just have a quick look at the War Memorial and there's also a cool tank. Uh, we love yes. World War Memorial stuff, memorabilia um, and history. So we'll jump over the road and have a look at that now. So this is the War Memorial. Obviously uh, Anzac Day was just the other day so you still got flowers there from Anzac Day. But one thing I just wanted to point out, I absolutely love is this flag that's draped over the memorial at the top there it just looks so cool i haven't seen something like that before but really love it and just behind the memorial there you've got this cool tank the leopard as1 tank in 1977 the leopard as1 main battle tank entered service with the royal australian armored corps as a replacement to the centurion tanks Okay, so as you can probably see, today we're taking on a little adventure to the Bird and Animal Park Cafe, uh, about 15 minutes out from Esperance, heading towards Norseman. And uh, hopefully we get to play with some animals and pat them. And yeah, what have you seen so far on the entrance? Fluffy cows. <laughs> Fluffy cows. So um, hopefully the rain holds off. 
but uh, we'll get in there and show you this little bird and animal park and all the cool stuff to do uh, like I said 15 minutes out from Esperance so pretty close let's get into it in these golden pheasants are cool they got like this golden mullet on the top of their head it almost looks like Finger and down there, he's gonna bite it. Okay. Very playful, though. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Someone knows there's food. Hey? Hey. Look at that lip. Look at that bottom lip, hey? Go on, Demi. Feet time. Just put them on your hand. You do it out flat. On your hand. This one's an eager beaver. That's it, hold it out flat. What if he bites me? He won't. Go. Look. <laughs> <laughs> Gross. Oh, cool. Watch your tongue. Watch your tongue of this one. Do it, Mel. Here. Here do it. I'll film you. No, you do it. Here. Watch his tongue. Okay. He's like, give me the food already. Look at the tongue. Look at the tongue. <laughs> <laughs> do it again. Do it again. <laughs> we, got a, we got some sound effects here. <laughs> oh, good baby. Look at the baby one. Oh, that is so cute. Like, where's my food? Hello, buddy. Oh, what the? Look at the baby one. Oh, you're so cute. <laughs> <laughs> Does it hurt? No, it's just got teeth. Look at the butt teeth. <laughs> hey, stop spitting. What? He spat in my face five years ago. Demi, can you take? <laughs> yeah, right. Take. Can you take the big one over there? Oh, he's so cute. Right. One more, and that's it. Do the little one. Do the little one. Quick, quick. Yeah, I'll take the big one over here. <laughs> Oi! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Jeez. I'll tell you what, these guys, they know when it's feeding time. As soon as they see this bag, look, they got long necks too. Oh. Fluffy cow. Oh, I want a fluffy cow. Look at how big he is. Oh, mama. Got this whole paddock. Hello. It reminds me of the woolly mammoth. Leave me alone. <laughs> hey man. Look at that goatee. I know, I love it. Hey? I could put plaques in that. It reminds me of Max. <laughs> oh, look at those eyes. Hey, hey that's beautiful. Can I cut you? This? Put it to You almost bit my hand. <laughs> You're cute. Thank you. Scottish Highland cow, this one. No, this is Martin. Big boy. That one there. That little one there. Did mama give birth not long ago? Don't know if you can see in the camera, guys, but this one's got amazing eyes. It's like blue marble. <laughs> Here he comes, and there's dad, I reckon, eh? Yeah. Hmm, boss? Hi. Oh my god. No, you can't have a dad. It's bad for you. Oh, I don't know. They're so fluffy. They are so fluffy. <laughs> Is he letting me pat him? We're getting two of these as well. Where are you picking it up, Mom? <laughs> oh, they are the most cutest <laughs> things in the world. Hey, it's just lent into my hand. Oh, wow. Uh -huh. Oh, hello, baby. Demi, you want to have a hold? Um, Pass yeah, me the bag. Uh -huh. I don't know how to hold yeah. it. 
Watch your little Here. puppy. Hang on. I don't know how to no, do a little puppy. Oh, hello. Did you just burp? That was a dog. I'll hold the other one as well. Hang on, you can get both of us. <laughs> 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 All right, so that was the bird and animal park here, just out of Esperance. Um, Ten dollars an adult, so twenty bucks. And how much was it for Demi? Seven dollars? Yeah. Or eight dollars? Seven. Seven dollars. So not too bad. Twenty-seven dollars entry for a bag of food. It was two dollars for a bag, um, and they do an all-day breakfast here for ten bucks. So we didn't eat because we had a big sort of late breakfast. We got plenty of food back at the van anyway. So. What's going on folks? It's Sunday, it's family day and today we are touring. We're taking you into Cape Le Grand National Park and behind us we thought we'd kick off today's proceedings on Le Grand Beach mm. which takes us through to Wiley Cove. Mm -hmm. 22 so, k's yep. to Wiley Cove. And as you can tell the weather's turned it on, the water's looking stunning. Bit of weed around. We're definitely going to get in for a dip. We're going to have a beach cook up, a bit of chill, a bit of touring, a bit of sightseeing. Maybe a little bit of climbing and walking and hiking. Maybe some napping. Yeah, but I'll just show you guys if you can hold that for us. Oh yeah, I just thought I'd show you too behind us. Check it out. These cool little estuaries that come in from the mainland out to the ocean. And there's cool lots of little fish in there as well. But today we're just going to be taking you in Cape Le Grand Coastal Trail. So we're going to be doing Cape Le Grand Beach now, obviously, Wiley Bay. We'll take you through to Hellfire Bay, Thistle Cove, Lucky Bay, these places are famously known worldwide for their pristine white sand and crystal clear waters. As you can see behind, have a look at how clear that water is today. Anyway, let's get into it. Kick back, relax. Cape Le Grand National Park. We're going to share it with you right now. Let's do it. All right, so we're just about at Wiley Bay. Um, we haven't had to even air down. It's pretty compact all the way through. A few sections are a little bit soft, but nothing momentum won't get you through. But We've just seen these smooth rocks, so we thought we'd go for a bit of a climb, have a look at them. There's this cool little, nice clear little sort of rock pool, almost formation in here anyway. Check out how clear it is. There is a fair bit of weed at the moment, but... Wiley Bay's just around that rock there. We'll jump up there, show you around how clear the water is. So that's Wiley Bay just over here. And we've come from Cape Le Grand Beach all through there, 22 k stretch. Just thought I'd suss out this ledge off here, see what it's like. Fishing wise, of course I've brought the rod and reel, you know it. Oh, look at that ledge. Boy oh boy, bit of weed out there though. Super cool. What a day for it, legends. Yeah, a few fish, a few surfers over there, pretty keen, eh? When you're coming in here, there's actually some signs that say high shark sighting area, because there's lots of kelp out here. Oh, keen as beans. You wouldn't catch me surfing out here. I'd drop big bait out, but that's about it for me. Anyway, we'll keep on heading around to Wiley Bay. We've only got a few clicks and we're there. All right, so now we're going to uh, take you to Hellfire Bay and wait till I swing this around. Check out this water. <laughs> How good is that? What a spot.
So we just got back up to the car and uh, from Hellfire Bay from having a swim and we had this note on our car saying, hey young nomads, check out our friends Duncan and Sophie, YouTube, if not now, great trip around Australia. Do you use TV, TVBE Buddy? Regards, Darren and Sha Shannon. Shannon, traveling, traveling with Crow's Feet, FB, Insta, and soon YouTube. So, um, Darren, Shannon, thanks for the note. Um, I think you might be the guy that we're chatting to on the beach, possibly. If it was you, mate, comment below. We'd love to hear from you. Um, but yeah, we will absolutely jump on and check out Duncan and Sophie, as well as yourself. Um, because we love nothing more than following local people that are putting some cool content together. We actually don't even watch free to air TV for this reason. We'd rather get on and watch you guys sharing your experiences and journey on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, or I'll have to look this one up, TVBE Buddy. I'm gonna get onto that, thanks for the tip, and uh, thanks for the message. Yo. All right, so I'm just walking down the rocks down to Thistle Cove. Uh, we're not actually gonna go for a swim at this one just because it's a bit rougher for the girls than what they would like, so we'll head over to Lucky in a moment, cook up feed on the beach, snags for the win again. <laughs> but I thought I'd just climb down here to share with you guys and girls Thistle Cove. There is not a body inside, as you can see. Have a look at this. How white is this sand? This cool rock formation comes down and meets the beach here. And look at that water. And then you got this cool little estuary again. When full would flow right all the way through. But anyway, that's Thistle Cove. Looks pretty calm now. Well, I'm happy to go for a swim, but safety first, girls first. Gotta look after my little ladies. Anyway, um, we're gonna head over to Lucky Bay now, get onto the beach, have a feed, and uh, we'll be sure to have another dip there, that's for sure. But can you ever get sick of that backdrop? Where the ocean meets the native vegetation, how cool. All right, legends, welcome to Lucky Bay. And we're in Mel and Chriso's kitchen for a little beach cook up again. And what are we cooking, babe? Would you believe it? We are cooking snags and onions. Oh, oh you're <laughs> joking, what a surprise. Mel is like, all we do is eat sausages when we go to the beach, watch out. Um, but I just, I don't know, I love it. It's so simple, it's quick, it's easy, and it fills the void so you can get out and just swim and have more fun than spending time cooking and prepping. Like, I like the old wraps. Demi had a wrap, but a bit more prep involved in that. Not really. Oh, well, anyway. Anyway. You just wanted sausages, that's yeah. all. <laughs> you know what? Check this out, legends. Have a look at this. How good is it? Um, we're glad we went for a swim at Hellfire Bay because it's a bit calmer there and there's a lot more weed here. So we probably picked the spot. I don't know if we're going to go in for a dip here because it is a bit cooler. The wind's kicked up a little bit. Um, but it's just so cool to be here. But this time, cooking sausages, we've gone something a little bit different. We've gone the chicken, spinach cheese. Spinach and feta. Feta and spinach. Yes, combo. <laughs> look at the hair. Look at this. You got sand in your hair, love. Get out of it. It's because you're throwing it at me. <laughs> Anyway, mixing it up, and I was like, we're having sausages again, always sausages, but at least we're having different sausage this time anyway. So, we'll let you know what they're like. Chicken, spinach, and feta sausages in a bun with onion. Here we go. Oh yeah, finished product. Woo! Get around it. The finishing gourmet touch. No, 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 barbecue sauce, barbecue sauce. Oh, sorry, mate. Oh, that's yours, love. No, you can have that. No way. I didn't want that. I didn't want that. Barbecue sauce, mustard, onion. Oh, she's a treat. Look what, what Melzias. Melzias. Yes. Melzias. That's yeah. stuff. What do they call it? Sriracha. 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 I have it on everything. Sriracha is life for Mel. Anyway, let's dig in. Okay, the barbecue, the good one first. Sorry about the music, we're just pumping the tunes as well. Chicken, feta, and what? Spinach. Spinach sausages. Here we go. 